Hey boo, I'm just leaving work, about to hop on the train and head to location to film season three of The Dish with Tashe. I'll call you when I'm done, okay? What is up, y'all? It's your girl. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of The Dish with Tashe, where we get to the dish after the dish. I hope you are feeling good because you deserve to feel good. Today, I am elated. I am honored to have the gorgeous, unstoppable, dynamic Step G in the building. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Step G. Like a G. We outside. Okay. Period. Period. <laughs> Um, thank you for being my date. Of course. I'm That's excited. Date, <laughs> so Steph is a rapper. She's the epitome of an entertainer and her stage presence is nothing to be played with. Yeah, okay. Period. <laughs> period. <laughs> so you know I love to put y'all on. I got you. I got you. So today we are at Burgerology in Astoria. Doing all things burgers, chicken sandwiches. We're about to get into this. Do you want to introduce? Yeah, this looks my good. I'm excited. I know I ordered the fried mac and cheese. Bowls. Those look good. good, yeah. They do look good. And then I have the original chicken sandwich from mozzarella cheese and bacon. And I have my sangria. It's mad cute. Yes, and she got some fries. She yeah. got a little rubber ducky in her drink. Yeah, it's mad cute. I don't That's know if y'all can catch cute. it. <laughs> <laughs> and I got, what I got is a little extreme. I got the Mac Attack. Okay. That looks crazy. It looks <laughs> good though. I got the Mac Attack. It's mac and cheese in here and some bacon. And I also got some truffle fries because I love truffle. Like, I love truffle. And I got a Bavarian pretzel <laughs> that looks good too. and there's some different sauces in here and to drink I got a strawberry lemonade tequila and this display I mean it's given it's given super cute so let's cheers to this yes. cheers let's take a sip yeah this is good it's really good. I love sangria. You can never go wrong with sangria. I got some jalapenos in here, so it's like I was gonna ask you, what was that? It's a little spicy, but... Oh, okay, okay. It's good. Super good. Figure out, are you a cheeseburger person, or are you more of like a fried chicken sandwich person? I, I think it depends on my mood, but I would definitely say more fried chicken. Okay. Yeah, you? I'm a cheeseburger girl. Cheeseburger? I love like, cheeseburger, but it gotta be from the right place. You know what I'm true. saying? I, I know that cheeseburgers are good here. That's true. I'm a I cheeseburger girl. I feel like you can have a cheeseburger at any occasion. Like You definitely can. When I'm happy, I have a cheeseburger. <laughs> when I'm sad, I have a cheeseburger. It's comfort food. That's why. <laughs> when I'm drunk, I have a cheeseburger. Yeah, like, especially when you're drunk. <laughs> for any occasion. All right, yes. so let's dig in. Let's, let's yeah, I'm gonna try these first. I do have a pretzel bun that I love. I'm excited about this. It's got a lot going on too. Yeah, it looks really good though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reach over your food. Oh, this is really good. Is it? I'm glad. Um, I definitely am. I was like, I'm about to ask her for one. They have like, <laughs> nah, of course. Girl, you see all this food? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try one. So where you from? I am from the Bronx. The Bronx. You know, we got native New Yorkers in the building because I know you're from Brownsville. You know. I'm from Brownsville, Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, this is good. What kind of sauce is that? I don't know. I'm trying to test this one out now. Let me see. I'm going to try with mine. That's the sauce. It's actually pretty good with this sauce right here. So you know, I was doing my little, I was in my FBI bag, <laughs> I was doing my research, <laughs> and um, I was listening to your music over the weekend, and you have a lot of great songs. First of all, I saw you, I saw like you performing, and your stage presence, amazing, like your energy, so captivating, you almost kind of like don't want to look away because you don't want to miss nothing, like I was like, I watched yeah. like one post like three times, I'm like, okay, she getting it, like. <laughs> I'm very like, I've been like that since young because my first passion was dancing. Mm, okay. So i always been like a performer. So performing for me is like really a big thing when it comes to my whole artistry or whatever. Like, I feel like, you know, some people, they feel like they could just go in the booth and you know, they when they go, go on stage and just perform. But to me, it's more like, I feel like 
I want people to be like, damn, she killed that. You know, I want people to be like, she killed that. I want to come see her again. Because shows are very important in the industry. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to sell out shows. That's true. He definitely did that. Because I was like, I want to see her live. I'm going to have to come to a show. Like. <laughs> yes, for sure. I'm going to let you know when my next show is, too. I'm going to have to pull up. <laughs> and I also, so I was, um, this might be a little throwback, but you had this Briggs freestyle that really resonated with me. You know? Bricks freestyle. I think that's one of like the hood's favorite. Right. I noticed like you know I very I'm very attentive to my numbers mm -hmm. and what I see people gravitate towards to and Bricks was definitely one of those. Just like just people just love it automatically with no promotion, no nothing. Yeah. I guess because it's relatable. Relatable it's music is very important. Relatable. She saw because I'm pretty and gifted, don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't get it twisted. I ain't never had shit. You pretty bitch from the bricks. <laughs> Period. On the ground, I was lit. <laughs> okay, I hear you. <laughs> no, that resonated with me because I feel like when you're a pretty... They test you. And when you're a pretty girl in the industry, people think you just have shit, like, handed to you. Yeah. But it's like, no, I'm where I'm at because I've been grinding. I've been putting in the work, like... Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like a lot of people don't respect that. Like, right. they, they think because you're a pretty girl, everything. Yes, I won't deny and say that you could, you know, you could might get something easier because of your looks. Right. But... No, it's hard work. Yeah. We work hard. We work hard and especially me. I can speak for myself. No, facts. <laughs> like nothing comes easy. And yeah. it's like you don't we don't look like what we've been through and that's a blessing. But yeah. don't get it twisted. Like we've been putting in the work, you yeah. know, we've been grinding. That's why I was like, yeah, I had to run that back like three times. I'm like facts. Yeah, like don't get it twisted. <laughs> don't come facts. over here thinking I could try to play us. It's not that type of time, man. And you also have your newest single, where you have. Yes. Well, you guys doing great. That's the pull-up song. Yeah. <laughs> I was in my bag in that one. No, I was going to say, that song got you in your bag. Like, what, she, what happened? She talking spicy yeah. on Instagram. Like, what's up? Pull up. I'm telling you, most of my best, like, songs come come to, like, when I'm going through something. And I actually, seriously, that time when I wrote Where You At, I was really, like, on some... I was fed up. Right. And that's how Where You At came out. No, that's how it be. I can relate to that. Because I've even, like, starting this project, The Disbotage, I started it when I was like in one of my darkest moments and I needed a creative outlet. So that's why I started this and then it turned into this. I and it turned into something positive. In my living room and then like, you know, <laughs> we're yeah. progressing like. That's fire. Step by step. That's fire. So I know this year has been a big deal for hip hop. They've been celebrating 50 years of yep. hip hop. So I wanted to know what does hip hop mean to you and how has it contributed to your life? Hip hop to me means it's, I feel like it's a source of an outlet for people to express themselves mm -hmm. in um, an urban way, especially. Like, especially like, you know, like where hip hop comes from or whatever. I feel like it was just more of a, of a form of expression. So for me, it's the same thing. Hip hop to me is like, whenever I, like I said, like I just said, whenever I feel away, I turn to hip hop. I write my best stuff when I'm feeling away. So I really feel like it's more of a, an expressional Right. type of thing when it yeah. comes to hip hop. It's not just, of course we want to make people, you know, feel good when they're in parties and stuff like that, or just speaking our truth, but to me it's more of a, a form of expression. It's like art to you. It's, it's like, art, it's 100% it's art. Right. When did you first start rapping? Like when did you, what was your early, what's your earliest memory of like rap? What's your first experience? So <laughs> I've always done poetry since I was young, which I feel like is a form of rap. Some, some way somehow but I always wrote poetry but to really like when I wrote my first rap I was I would say it was around two three years ago that I was like you know what I'm gonna actually do this mm -hmm. so I literally was in my car I was in my car I do want to beat because I'm very like in tune with underground artists so I was like I was just listening to a lot of underground artists so I was like I feel like I could do this too because okay. you know I always been into music music is my passion right I'm sad I turned to music I'm happy I turned to music mm -hmm. it's music 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 all day right. so I turned on a beat I started writing over it then my brother he started doing music as well mm -hmm. and he was like yo Steph just jump on this you know playing around I was like all right so I literally wrote a verse and then it was it was crazy from there Massage because from there. yeah everybody in the studio was just like stuff you could really make this a thing like don't sleep yeah on they're like let's like let's do it I'm like let's do it I love that yeah I feel like we should take a bite of this burger oh your chicken sandwich my burger let's all right see. let's let's see what it's sitting let's for see what it's giving I got a lot going on me too <laughs> I could imagine yours This is hitting right here. 
How's yours? It's different. But it's good. It's like extra cheese. Like it looks really cheesy. Extra cheese added. It's good. The pretzel bun, the cherry on top. Mm. Okay, so one thing I wanted to know was what is the meaning behind your stage name? Steph G. Mm -hmm. It's actually my name. So, all right, I have a little background on it. I used to be a bartender. Okay. Yeah, so my name on Instagram was always Stephanie G. So when I started bartending, this promoter, he was like, Stephanie G's too long. He was like, we can, let's just do Steph G. And I was like, all right, and that's been my name since. Okay. Yeah, so I was like, when I came into the, like, you know, like the whole music industry, I was like, I might as well keep it as to what everybody knows me as. So the G, is that like your last name starts with a G? It is. is. Okay, yeah. I like that. I was thinking like, you a G, like. Well, that too. <laughs> that's why know? my slogan is like a G. Yeah. So it's like two different meanings to it. Okay, so one other thing I wanted to know, not to be morbid, but I wanted to know, what do you want people to take from your music? Like, what kind of legacy would you want to leave behind? Um, I just want people to, to be like, yo, stuff. I relate with stuff. Like, that's really, like, my main thing. Like, I want, I want people to actually really dig deep into my music, especially, like, the more personal ones. Right. I want it to just be very relatable. I people would be like, oh, she's, like, she did that. I, I could feel her. Yeah. I mean, you definitely, you definitely doing your job on that because Briggs, I had to run that back like three times. I was like, she talking yeah. facts. Like. See, that's my thing. I like, I like to do fun music, but then I have my days where I want to give something a little bit more. You know, mm -hmm. people could feel it. Right. This is good. Do you want to try my pretzel? I'll try it. The sauces are really good with it too. Which sauce are you trying? And this pretzel that was one? huge, so I definitely need some help with this because <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I'm not like a big pretzel girl. Really? I know. And that's just cinnamon. 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 I love the cinnamon pretzel. I like the Auntie, was it Auntie Anne? Yeah. Pretzels? Those are bomb. Those are so good. Those are bomb. <laughs> this is really good though. So, what is your creative process like when you're writing a song? What do you do for inspiration? So. I have to have my whole, you know, my whole mood has to be there. I have to have the dark lights, the LED lights. Real sexy. Yeah, it has to be like a very sexy vibe. Mm -hmm. I have my, you know, my little glass of wine. <laughs> and sometimes I smoke because I feel like, you know, I just write a little bit better once I'm a little high or whatever. But okay. yeah, I really, I yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I'm not even a smoker like that, but I feel like when it comes to writing or anything that I have to do creative, it gets the job done. Right. I know you do have a song. That went viral, chopped cheese. Everybody right. loves chopped cheese. Chopped cheese is a vibe. I was in there like, hey. Yeah, <laughs> chopped cheese is fire. <laughs> so, um, every legend has a great team behind them. No one got where they are on their own, you know? I always say that. And for me personally, like even doing this project in particular, I've had people along the way like come and help, but we've had to go in different directions because of like creative differences or like just having yeah. different work ethics. And that's like one of the hardest parts is like finding a good team. So what has the experience been like for you? So for me, I'm still with the same exact team that I started with. Okay, that's I a blessing. I feel like, yeah, no, I'm very blessed. I have like, my team is very supportive. I have the best manager in the world. Shout out to Smooth Sounds. Okay. Um, he really is like, I feel like you really have to have somebody that's very well invested. They have to be as invested as you are. If right. not, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And you also have to have a team that knows their precision. Cause you know, sometimes you have a team and they don't get your vision or they don't respect your creativity. But my thing is like my team, we all have different opinions. We're not always on the same page, but they right. respect what I decide to go to, which I really appreciate. So I feel like having a team is really what's getting me up there as well. Cause you know a lot of people they like to brag i did this by myself but let's be let's be for real the biggest people have a team with them like great teams like yeah. every legend even beyonce like she has a team yes of people that are like pushing behind her and like making things happen helping her make things happen yeah so. and you know there's sometimes you as an artist i think i know it all <laughs> i be thinking i know it all and my team is there to to tell me like relax <laughs> you're still not there yet you have to do this you have to do that right. like they help me a lot with artist development and now i'm just like ready to go i'm ready <laughs> i love that it's also a blessing that you have your like day ones with you still yes yeah yeah it's, it's definitely a blessing i wouldn't have no other way honestly i don't see myself with no other team okay shout out to her team yeah you guys are doing a great job because she's lit okay <laughs> So, um, also I know that sometimes life can be like really overwhelming. 
especially when you're like on a journey pursuing something yeah um for me personally like last night when i was doing the run of show for today's episode i was like feeling a little numb just from like dealing with like other things in life while also trying to pursue like a passion and a dream yeah and i asked my guest this question like a few times but it really like hit me yesterday I wanted to ask you what is your why because I'm like yesterday I'm doing this and I'm like oh, I wasn't really like I was into it but I was just feeling numb so I'm like what is my why like why am I getting up to come talk to Steph G tomorrow yeah in front of a camera and eat this amazing food I mean it's mostly for the food but, <laughs> yeah, <that's okay. laughs> but also like I started the show because I wanted to help inspire and motivate people because I know how hard the journey can get and how lonely and painful it can get and to feel like you're alone but me coming on here and interviewing someone like you who's you know doing a great job and is like resilient and great at what she does can help inspire someone else who maybe want who might want to follow in similar footsteps so i wanted to know what is your why i have a few whys i'll sum it up really quick um my first why to be honest is i went through a really bad experience um a couple of years ago mm -hmm. and i feel like i just need to come back from that and the better the best way to come back from it is with success mm -hmm. so that's one of my whys and otherwise nice. also for my family like i want to show my family like it's more like i feel like my family is a little closed in when mm -hmm. it comes like they're a little closed-minded so i want to show them like it's a bigger world out there you could make this amount of money you could do this anything is possible as long as you put in the work right so i just want to be that example right where they like if you work really hard for what you want everybody knows like once i dedicate myself to something i'm gonna get it done so I just want to show what hard work could really do. You create your own reality. Like, yeah. That's what I'm about. Like, I feel like you really have the power to create your own reality. You do. And right. manifesting. I manifest a lot of stuff in my life. And it actually happened. So mm -hmm. that's how I'm manifesting my dreams with this. Okay, what was your to work on? You said you had two. Well, that was my two. For my family and my first wives because I had a bad experience that I feel like I, I owe myself. Like, I need to come back and show myself. Yes. I'm that girl. Like, I can relate to that. And I feel like... I've been learning on this journey, like to turn your pain into purpose. Exactly. Like to make sure you profit off your pain. Yeah. Like, don't ever go through something and let it like run you down. Make sure you exactly. learn, figure out why it's happening to you and see how you can grow from it instead of letting it like defeat you. Cause a lot of times like beautiful things come from pain. Yes. You know? And you might not see it at the moment, mm -hmm. but it eventually comes and you're like, damn, this is what I worked hard for. This is what I was supposed to be doing. Right. Exactly. So it's just really about, a lot of people, they like to use their pain and feel sorry for themselves. That's not the type of person I am. Right. I'm going to use that and I'm going to be like, all right, watch. Bye. Right. <laughs> like, like, all right. Yeah. All right, you going to see. You got to prove you yourself. <laughs> I, I've been talking to myself like that. Yeah, it's true. You know what you deserve. Like, yeah. everyone knows what you deserve, what you've had to overcome, what you've been through. It's yourself. So it's yeah. like, nah, Nobody I've... will ever understand. So exactly. You got to prove it to yourself. And like you said, eventually it'll all make sense. Like, yeah. you went through that so you could become this person. Yeah. No, seriously. Because yeah. if I never went through that, I would never be the person the strong. Because I'm very strong now. Right. So. I love that. Where do you see yourself in five years? I'm curious. I'm going to be big. Okay. I'm out of here. Talk your shit. Yeah, I'm out of here. Like, I already know in five years it's going to be crazy. Like, I just really see myself at the top. And like I said, I manifested. So. I can see that for you. It's going to happen. <laughs> I feel like you got everything you need to get where you want to be. Like, yeah, it's just dedication. Right. Dedication, dedication hard work, and a good resilience. thing. Yes. You could accomplish anything. And action, despite the distractions, because we're going to have a million distractions, but all the action, despite yeah. the distractions as well, will keep you going for sure. So, yes. Yes, y'all. You heard it here. Yeah. <laughs> From Steph G. <laughs> right, I think I have, have like shit. two more questions. Oh damn! All right, she, I know that's crazy. She bringing in the drinks. We got the. <laughs> oh my! I did not know they were there. Which is the tequila? This one, and that's the strawberry. Uh, oh, oh that's one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Got no worries. Yeah, got you. Thank you. Thank you. I did not know. No, I didn't know this was this big. It's all right, y'all lit. <laughs> 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 all right, we are putting them on right now. I don't know if we can cheers to this, but oh my god, we to, we're gonna have to use both hands, right? <laughs> we're about to get to this. I did want to know who is your biggest musical influence? I'm very curious. Um, my number one, I would have to say, is Michael Jackson. Okay, 
Yeah. Okay. Because it's just more about the creativity. Him and Missy Elliott. Okay. I'll give it to both of them because I'm very inspired, especially like her videos, his videos, like how he put together music, how he had like the choreography. Like, like I said, I'm a dancer, so I look at that a lot when it comes to like musicians or whatever. So mm -hmm. I would definitely say them too. I can see that. I can see the the Missy and the, some of the music videos I've seen you do. Yeah, like it's Money like, in Your Face. Yes, like it very was, creative. It was inspired by her, mm -hmm. for sure. All right, so let's cheers. Let's see if we can cheers. You gotta use both hands for this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers. <laughs> let's see what this is given. This is crazy. This is crazy. I got a nerd <laughs> rope in here. Mmm. Tastes It's good. I feel like I need a little more alcohol. Yeah, I'm, I like uh, my drink strong. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> I agree. A couple little shots in there. Make it perfect. We need some shots in here. For sure. Missy is a legend. <sighs> yeah. She's definitely a legend. She looks a lot of weight too. She looks really good. She looks amazing. Yeah. I'm like, how is she not aging? What is she taking? Cause I need some Yeah, that, exactly. Like, That's what I said. When I'm that age, I want to look like She that. looks the same from when I was younger. <laughs> just like skinnier. Yeah. Like, she literally looks like the same. Person. Probably younger. That's <laughs> the, the crazy same, part. The same person. Yeah. Okay, my last question. My last question that I had for you was, do you have any advice for any upcoming rappers, or just anyone pursuing a dream who wants to follow in similar footsteps. Yes, just be you. Just be you, don't try to be nobody else in the industry because the number one thing that people are gonna look at is what makes her different. Right. So you have to be authentic. Just be authentic, do you, be consistent, and never mind the internet trolls. They're gonna troll, that's what they're there for. Just ignore them. They're good, just keep working. You know, I did have a question <laughs> like that. Like, how do you, how do you ignore the haters and like? I'm keep very going? good at that. I'm very good at that because I, I know the internet. <laughs> yeah, like the internet, they're here to troll. Like I don't pay attention to those comments. They call me at all the names in the book. Right. But I just look at it like you know what? This is the internet. They're here to do this. Everybody has a different opinion. Your opinion doesn't define me. I'm very confident in myself, so I know what's up. So it doesn't bother me. Right. Yeah. I laugh at it. And like you were saying, like, be you. I feel like a lot of people try and follow trends. Yeah. But you're going to stand out being yourself. Yeah. Like, you it know? might take a little longer being yourself, but eventually people will notice. Like, yeah. okay, she's not doing what everybody else is doing. Yeah. And I've heard, like, I've heard from, like, you know, just people in the industry, like, consistency definitely is key. Consistency so, like, is the number one. We're not in the era where people like, all right, we're going to push one song for, for a year. We're not in that era anymore. You have to keep showing them what you got you got to keep being in people's faces mm -hmm. they have to keep seeing you there's so many so many people trying to do the same thing you're doing right so how are you gonna how you like you know you're gonna be the top you one what separates you exactly from all these other people that are just as attractive just as yeah. talented as you are and pursuing what you are like what makes you different so that's why being yourself is important being yourself is the number one thing right be authentic <laughs> All right, well, that conversation was really necessary, yes. and I had a great time, but now we're going to move on to the even more fun part and play Guess That Movie, so I hope you're ready to get in your acting bag. Oh, gosh, Guess That Movie. <laughs> and we're going to get some desserts, so we'll be right back with Guess That Movie. <laughs> So now it's time for Guess That Movie. Oh, yeah. And like I said, you better be ready to get in your acting bag, all right? <laughs> so basically you have to act out a famous one-liner from a classic movie or a popular movie. It can be whatever. Um, I'll act out three. You'll do three. I'll guess what it is. You'll guess what it is. Mm. And um, we do have some desserts here. We got the strawberry shortcake. Yes, this it looks good. monstrosity. Do you see this? Yeah. Everything is big here. Everything. The drinks. Strawberry shortcake. I know a lot of Aries are competitive. I'm not that competitive sometimes, but today, you know, I'm feeling generous. I'm feeling generous. <laughs> I'm feeling generous today. <laughs> no, so the movies that I got for you, um, I got actors, rappers who are acting like okay. in a movie. So it should be a little easier for you, for you, <laughs> for you to guess. Do you want to go first? Yeah, want? I'll go first. Okay. 
All right, first one is, you wanna go to jail or you wanna go home? All right, give me a clue. It's a very famous actor in this movie. Okay. Hmm. It's, it's a classic. And what year is it from? Is it like old school or like like 90s or like? Yeah, it's, it's kind of old school. Is it Friday? No. All right, what is it? It's training day. Oh, dang. Yeah, you know what? I was not going to guess that. I love me some Denzel, but I was... Yeah? You didn't watch training day? I haven't seen training day in a minute. So okay, yeah. That's true. That. That's true. I'll give you that. All right. So mine... All right. Yeah. You better lose yourself in the music, the moment you want it. You better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss Eight your mile. chance to blow. <laughs> Facts. Because that opportunity mile. comes once in a lifetime. He was talking straight facts, too. Yeah, that's why you got that. You yes, got that. You yes, better be ready for that opportunity, <laughs> chill, okay? All right. All right, what's your second one? Should I go easy? Go easy on me, please. Go easy? I lost the first one. <laughs> All right. Come on, Craig. Okay, that's Friday. <laughs> See, that was too easy. <laughs> See, that's that Friday. All right, so this one, I don't know if you know this one, but you should, because I feel like we was fans of this person like back in the day. All right. Yeah. Uh, now basketball is my favorite sport. I like the way you dribble up and down the court. I keep it so fresh on a microphone. Yeah, like, no, I know the song, but I'm trying to. On. So it's the soundtrack from the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. he was in. And it's like, I want to say early like, 2000. I know the song, but I can't put a movie to it. What was it? Like Mike. Like Mike, yes. Like Mike? With Bow Wow. Yes. 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 I know what you're talking about. That was right. my movie. So I feel like we were even. Yeah, yeah. We were even, one and one. We both won. It's all good. We both won. Yeah, you know how it goes. We do gotta try this. <laughs> we gotta try this strawberry before we like wrap up. We gotta try this. Strawberry shortcake milkshake. Mm. Just for the people. It looks who dumb good. Know. Mm. I'm getting it from the back. This is <laughs> <laughs> this melts. This is crazy. Like, mm. oh, little pieces good. for me. This is really good. I love strawberry shortcake. Me too. I'll let you have the the popsicle, the ice cream bar. I'm already full. <laughs> All right, I'll pick them. You gotta tell me twice. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So good. Mhm. Mm All right. Well, that was fun. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you so it much for coming. Great. Thank you so much for coming on the show. No problem. I had a great Goodbye. time. The viewers, I hope you were at the very least inspired, motivated, or entertained. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>